Hi, this is Luke for Production Expert, and this is how to use Delta Solo on any plugin in any door. I'm going to use Delta Solo to get an insight on some EQ, some reverb, and also on some dynamics processing. Here's my track, and it sounds like this. Now for this technique, I've duplicated each track containing the plugins I want to look at, and then I've inverted the polarity of each duplicate to get just the difference. You'll notice that each of my duplicates also has the same channel strip plugin across it, and this is to make sure I get total cancellation, although the actual controls in the duplicate are set to flat. So first up, I'm going to use EQ just to sort out some slight quacky low mids I've got on my bass. So if I bring my duplicate in, I'm hearing just the cut frequency in my bass. You can hear that go through zero. So I'll just pull that back. I can hear exactly where I'm making my cut. So over on guitar, I'm using a bit of reverb just to give me a bit of stereo interest and some dimension in there. And Delta Solo lets me hear just the return without having to switch pre or post fade sends on my tracks or to upset my return level by having to turn it up or down to hear what the reverb is doing. And as soon as I bring in my Delta Solo duplicate, we get just the return. And so I can use that to really hear into what the reverb is doing. And just knock the duplicate back out and we get the dry and wet together. So over on vocals, I'm just using some high ratio compression to kind of get a compressor limiter hybrid. And that all sounds fine in context. But as soon as I bring in my Delta Solo channel, we can see that we're getting some quite bad tracking artifacts coming from the compression. When the pages seem to play, all the things the words can say. And so straight away, just by hearing the gain reduction element, I can just play with my time constants to get the effect that I want. When the pages seem to play, all the things the words can say, working, watching pictures by the wall. So that is how to use Delta Solo on any plugin in any DAW. How you implement it in your own DAW will vary, but the technique is always the same. To find out more about this technique, head over to the Production Experts blog where you can read our full article.